Now that you have collected your insects, I will suggest you to sort them out. You will have a small insects, medium size and large insects. If this is the first time that you are pinning insects, start with a medium or large size as the one I'm going to use here to demonstrate the pinning procedure. This is a beetle. And like any other insects, it has three different parts. It has the head, the thorax and the abdomen. It's hard to see that the thorax has three different parts here, but if you turn it around, you will see that the thorax is divided into the prothorax, the mesothorax, and the metathorax. Each of those thoracic segments has one pair of legs and two pair of wings. The pin has to be on the second thoracic segment, which happens to be hidden underneath the first pair of wings in the case of this insect. For this size of insects, you can select either a number two or a number three pin. I'm using a number two. So hold the insect tie through the abdomen, mark it on the center, the second thoracic segment slightly from the center to the right. Have your pinning block ready in a solid surface because you don't want the pin to pass through your soft surface. So, if you remember, your pinning block has three different levels. The first one is where the height of the insect is going to be. The second one where your first label is going to be. And the third one where your second label is going to be. So after you pass the pin through the insect, put it back in your pinning board. Push it down. And you want to make this insect look as nice as possible. Meaning that if you can, you can stretch the legs in such a way that it looks like the insect is waiting for you to be catch. And if you break the insect, don't worry, because you can use either your nail polish, polish or your insect repair adhesive to put that piece back. And with a little bit of patience, your insect will just look perfect. After you pin your insect, make sure to keep it this way at least for 48 hours before you remove all the pins except the one in the center. Otherwise the insect will, will go back to the natural form.